One of my favorite books is by Stephen King and it's on the process of writing. And one of the things he talked about, which I really resonate with, is he has the playground. Play doesn't mean not working. Play means playing with ideas, playing with your own thoughts, playing with ideas with other people. It's, it's expressing yourself in a way that you don't know where that's gonna go. It's playing. And so I try my best between eight o'clock and 11 o'clock every day that that's my playground. And some people who, who hear that think you don't work from eight to 11. And I would say au contraire. Some of my best work was born from the playground. Some of my biggest achievements were born from the playground. Sometimes I get more done in the playground than the rest of the day. Sometimes I get more done in the playground than that whole week. You know, certain work I have to get done that might, might not need as much creativity, I try to do that outside the playground. So the playground is kind of what balances, if you want to use the word balance, everything else. I don't agree with the term work-life balance because again, we're implying it's a contradiction. The more I work, the less life I have. The more life I experience, the less work I can do. So how do I balance the two? And in my opinion, that's the wrong way to look at it. Find what you love to do, and there's no such thing as work-life balance. It becomes, it all becomes life. One of the most useful techniques I've found in approaching my own thinking is this idea of mind mapping, because mind mapping closely resembles how you think. So I do a lot of mind mapping in my playground, and I have software that allows me to do it, and I just basically start having thoughts, maybe related to something I have to do that day, maybe related to something I have to do this quarter. And then I start having other thoughts related to that thought. My thoughts start to cascade. And if I can have a mind map that follows that cascading, inevitably you will connect thought A to thought X and have this whole new idea that you never would have had if you didn't connect those two thoughts. And so for me, the point of the playground is how do I find thought A and how do I find thought X and connect them because now I'm about to, the merry-go-round is going even faster. Sometimes you start becoming obsessed with your own problems and you don't even realize you're obsessed. You, the whole sky darkened above your playground and you don't even, you don't even know the cloud is only around you. And so when I hear other people express their fears or their worries, it, it's a very grounding thing because it helps me realize how small some of my worries or problems might be as compared to others. And then I want to become grounded very quickly because I want to get into a state where I can start stimulating that person's thinking. And so that grounds me.